Let's look now at uh, Michael Nath at La Rochelle. Now this is completely different. Yeah. Um, very little actual plot here. You know, when the narrator's pal's girlfriend disappears, he discovers uh, how he's felt about her all along. And it's a sort of almost a, like a Jane Austen heroine, a man who, who learns to see more clearly. Yeah. Um, but under that simplicity, there's a lot going on. Oh, there? I love this book. I, I, it's two or three things, I think, La Rochelle. Um, one is, as you said, it is a love story at a, at a certain level. A, a young um, London medic, Michael Chopra, um, whose life is kind of shambolic and disconnected in certain ways, which becomes very important, I think, to the novel, meets a couple, Ian and Laura, and befriends them, and then this young woman <coughs> is mysteriously abducted. So at a certain level, the novel is about, it's a mystery novel, a thriller novel, about what happened to this woman and, and where she might be. And of course it's got a Petrarchan element, you know, Laura, Laura, this sense of um, a deep love investment. And yet, what becomes really interesting in the novel to me is it has that structure, and yet I became, as you, as you did, I think, I'm reading it, more and more interested in how this male protagonist struggles and tries to put aspects of his life together. His life is, in some sense, as I said, disconnected, and he tries to give it some type of narrative order or authority. And I think... Even, uh, even as he's becoming more and more sozzled. As even, as yeah, as it's, it's saturated. Yes. Yes. And one can become really high-minded about this. I said he tries to give this his world narrative order and authority. One thing to say about this book is it's fabulously funny. It's laugh out loud funny. I mean, six or seven times I just, I, I, I was just, had to put it down and, and kind of guffaw. And, and <laughs> I, I, I want to say that. I want to say it's witty. I don't think I, to, I, I want to be specific about why it's witty. It, it can be funny. So there are, there are there are lines you can just extract. So she gave me a BBC drama type of look, you know. You know she, or she was I know it. She was, distant, she was as distant eyed as a dental assistant. Another one I love. But but so it's got this kind of. I mean, you want to see you want the protagonist almost to be stand up comedy. But at another level, it's got a real type of wit, by which I mean that the the the, the fun of the novel, or the comedy of the novel, is. is kind of connected to its main theme, which is how this guy can put his life together. Example, he's wandering through London and he sees Mortimer Street and his mind starts thinking, Mortimer Street, Earl of Mortimer, civil war, civility, incivility, wanting to go to bed with your best mate's girl. Because he's, by this stage, he's realised he's in love with the girl who's been abducted. And it's, it's like kind of Proust in Peckham or Hamlet in Holborn. It's, it's this guy <laughs> trying to put together a sense of who he is from these kind of comic but witty particulars. And the last thing I'd say about it is, I may be wrong about this, and it's always difficult when you've got the author in the room, but more and more <laughs> when I was reading it, it seemed like there was something in there as if it was an allegory about London or Britain in the 1990s and about New Labour and the Blair years. Because again and again, there comes this sense of, is there another world behind the real? Is there something about, is the rhetoric or the language of the times not quite conveying the truth of the world I see? At one point, the, the narrator says, how much of a ritual is going on here? As if, in some senses, what you're being told about the culture you're living in is, is being spun or dissimulated. It's, it's, it, I think it's a type of really interesting potent political allegory that I'm still kind of putting together in well, my head. Well, you can ask, you can ask. I can later. ask him later. And just, and just <laughs> very briefly, I mean, this is a debut novel, and yet it's got oh. a tremendous assurance of tone. You wouldn't have picked it out as being a first You would book. not. And, and it's one of those books where I think two things. One is, as I've done to several of my long-suffering friends, it's the kind of book that makes you want to importune your friends. Read this one. And you begin by just saying, it's funny, but you'll then find out much more about it than that. But the other one is, one is when you read this book, the other thing you think is, this guy's going somewhere. This guy's going places. This name's going to come back. So I think, I think it's, go and read it. It's a tremendous book. Okay, now...